I'm interfering psychosis this moment in time. Um, right, well, I only met you today, right? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> um, just tell me a bit about your music and where you originally came from. Well, what made you begin music? I had started in I started in filmmaking. Like I did filmmaking for ages, like making feature films and like through that because I'd always had an interest in music, grime and hip hop. Like I'd linked up with a couple of guys in music, um, and then like I basically got more into the music side than filmmaking and I still do music videos and stuff but yeah like I've only been emceeing like two years but like in in that time I've made sure that like every year I've like tried to progress as much as possible and and do stuff so I like as as for music do a lot of do a lot of rip hop and grime I, I I like to do grime more but um basically I've done a lot of rap battles and through that I've got bigger on hip hop music so even though I prefer grime music I love hip hop I prefer grime but I've got more well known through hip hop music and like through that that's that's primarily where like a lot of my fan bases and stuff like that. So, did you just wake up one day and thought, right, I can spit bars? Nah, well, <laughs> I, I, I can't do that whatsoever. I'd always <laughs> listen to grime music and hip hop music. I grew up listening to Oxide and Neutrino and Baseline and stuff, and then I'd listen to, obviously, everyone listen to Eminem and DMX, Cassidy, all that stuff. So, I'd always had an interest in hip hop, um, and it's something that, like, I'd always liked it. I'd rap along to tracks when they're on and that kind of thing and get into it. And then when I met more people in, in the music, I thought, oh, it's easy, man. This guy's got a studio in his bedroom. Yeah, I'll write a quick bar and that. And it was shit. Do you know what I mean? Like it was shit back then. But like that, I wouldn't. You just, you just get better in it. And like, as, and and then all them people stopped. Like all them people that I used to like rap with and that they they stopped. And then I hooked up with like Respect BA, who was like at the time was like my favorite rapper like in the UK from yeah. Scotland and I'd watched him rap battle and I met him because I do kickboxing and filmmaking and I met him through like doing like like a like a film with kickboxing in it and then and then we hooked up and then like he got me a lot more I started making a documentary about him and then it got me like well, going all over UK meeting all different like, MCs who I'd, I'd be listening to like Ryan Asylum and these guys all like would be like proper big in battling and that and Stig and everything and then like and then an archaic and shit people I'd, I'd got go listening to and then it, so I was kind of in a position where I'd rapped a little bit on tracks, but I knew everyone in the game, like in UK hip hop, like who was who I listened to, like not everyone, not like Plan B and people like that who were like obviously smashing it, but like, but like people, all, all people, people that I were listening to underground, I'd met them all, do you know what I mean? And like they were all listed, yeah, like a track I'd done, like oh it's decent man, we should do a track, and all like, oh, fucking like respect BA's asking me to do a track, then why would I not rap? Do you know what I mean? So I got more and more into it. And then I started doing it, like the UK rap battles, don't flop, big up, don't flop north every time. Yo, yo, see I've got music a lot like I'm holding it hostage. Like that's like the biggest rap battle league in the UK now. Like some of them have got like 2 million views, them see, battles. See I've only just heard about don't flop. Really? How? Yeah, just through YouTube. Yeah. A bit of promotion. But... Don't flop now is massive, we're on Channel 4 News, Guardians, fucking nuts magazine and everything check it out, yeah then. like now nah, it's big it's big it's one of them things like if you start watching don't flop now make sure you go back because we've been doing it for like two years i was filming it a year before i was even in it the only reason i'm in don't flop is because i used to be the cameraman and when it came to chef the guy uh big up rowan every time he he runs don't flop and he will like do a battle we'll, we'll do a, an event in sheffield so i'll do a battle because i'm always i'm quite a confrontational guy with my music like i'd always done like quite uh, anger based music saying a lot of stuff so I goes fuck it I'll do a battle so I battle some guy from Preston and beat him so like, and then they're like oh come to Brighton and battle so I goes oh, I'll do another battle at this time I'd only done a few I'd done a couple of grime tracks and then I started making an album called Conquest of the Overfiend with a guy from Chesterfield my boy Flex Digits and Sudenham with a couple of producers from Wales and Lancashire and then my boy uh, from, they're from Darwin St Bastard and Sudenham they produced it and was on the album so like within a year I'd had an album with like 12 tracks on what we'd worked and because like I think a lot of people like they stick to the city a bit too much like there'll be people in Chef and they're like we rep Sheffield no one else rah 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 we make the Sheffield anthem and to me that's not what music's about I mean I want to represent the whole of the north so like the first album I brought out were like with people and I'd got guys from Liverpool on it guys from fucking Portsmouth guys from all over guys from California like fucking Nevada got mates in Nevada who I, who I knew through MySpace and stuff jumped on it who'd done a lot of stuff people from like Respect Beer from Scotland so I'd made an album with people from all over the UK on it and then through that I could pr battle I could go and battle the biggest guy in such and such a city and promote my album so it got me getting a lot of promo through hip hop yeah so i battled in sheffield i battled in brighton i battled in manchester I battled in derby battled in bristol battled in london twice but yeah i just battled every, loads of places and i've done 10 battles so far and i've only ever lost one and that's good well, my own fault for not be, having my head in the game properly so so i so i like it was my own fault so yeah through battling 
I'd, I'd only ever been beat once and I'd battled a lot of guys. Grass and cotton to level one if they move out of a big nose and over the office and force it upon them. Is there and anyone that you music. actually like really, really want to battle? Nah, not really. I get asked to battle every week. I'm minute. I'm having a bit of time off. What I like to do is do like three battles, smash them, and then have a six months, seven, eight months off and just promote music. Because to me, battling, yeah, I'll, I'll thing with battling, you get to be told that you're gonna battle two months before, so you've got two months to research them, research their music, research their personal life, their what they work at, everything, and just write fucking bars for for two months, so that when you go, it's not freestyle. No one freestyles uh. anymore. You can have the odd bar that's freestyled. You might leave a little space if they say something that you quickly think of a flip for it. But primarily, it's a written battle league. You know what I mean? So I've got two months to write three one and a half minute rounds for this guy, this girl, whatever, um, and then. So, but you get stressed, man, like I do anyway. Some people, it's very chilled out of it. When I go into the battle, it's like a death match. I don't really care if I lose. I just don't want to look shit on camera. I don't want to choke. So, like, I will I will go in, do you know what I mean? And I might not even talk to my friends or anything for two weeks because I'm just, like, lock my mind off and all I'll do is write bars for this guy. But then that shows, like, when I go in the ring, like, I'm in it, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm there to, to do my best. I said I don't care if I lose as long as I don't look shit. So it's just stressful. So I like to take like six months out just to do music and events and stuff. I'll talk about like events in a bit, but yeah. So basically, um, it got to a point where I'd battled a lot of people in the UK. Then a girl started battling called H Bomb from Australia, and she'd battled a few people. And I was just like, fuck it, I'll battle the girl. She's good. She's she's decent, yeah. But it was just, and you're never really gonna get a, an excuse to battle a girl or the opportunity. So I thought I'll do it. And even though she wasn't like the most amazing MC, I wrote for her like I was battling the best in the world, and I did that in yeah. Sheffield and beat her. And then they were like, oh, we want you to battle Tantrum, who's like the, one of the biggest in California. He's from Grind Time. So I went to London and battled Tantrum. And like Rizzle Kicks judged it, Maestro judged it, uh, Genesis Elijah, Johnny Storm, and some of us, I can't remember all of them, but like a big battle with like 200 and odd people watching. And then I beat him in London. Like, so I've dad like that. I say out of 10 battles, I've lost one, I've won nine. So I'm at a point now where I get battled, I get asked to battle often, I get asked to battle like good people. I should walk through with the one dressed as security with a chrome in my pocket. There's only, there's only two people that I won at my battle in the minute. It's Lunacy. He's the one who's coming to Don't Flop and not even really been in it that long. But for some reason, I don't really know what it is because there's lots of sick people in Don't Flop. But for some reason, he has got a big fan base very quickly. Then they put him on SBTV and now he's got like 20 odd thousand followers on Twitter and that, do you know what I mean? So I don't really see what's so good about Lunacy. He's good, he's decent, but there's lots of other people. So I think I've, I don't think he's really had a challenge and, I, I, and I'd like to bring in that challenge, you know what I mean? But now he won't do it. I've asked him and he won't do it. It's fucking <laughs> shit, whatever, I don't know. And then Mark Grister was on Channel 4, who's like a school teacher, who's a poet, and he started battling. So I was like, I want to battle him because then everyone's like, that's a mismatch. I don't care. I want to take the fucking suited up cunt's head off. Like, to me, that's not, he, he doesn't represent hip hop. And like, if he wants to challenge the art form, I will give him that challenge, you know yeah. what I mean? But also, he doesn't want to battle me anyway. So the people that do want to battle me or I've been offered, I'm not that bothered about battling. So until I get the opportunity where I think, yeah, that's when I could really get into. I'm not, I'm just I'm not battling at the minute. I'm making music. Do you not think people might feel a bit intimidated by you? Like People like Mark Griss, mate, like to me, like if he saw someone like me and my boys, who all our crew, do you know what I mean, like sat on the shops, he wouldn't even look us in the eye, but he'll come and battle in a room full of 250 people and try and boss boy someone off. Yeah. We're good. Well, finally, before you go, yeah. where can we find your music since you're such so good about it? We had a website, Prison Planet Records, it's currently down because they're just doing all design on it, but just go to youtube.com forward slash Prison Planet Records, you can get all the music there, there's a ton of tracks, not even really talked about the tracks, but yeah man, there's a, there's a ton of hip hop, ton of grime, I work with like loads and loads of people, I'm always looking to work with people if I think they're at like a good level and they're putting in as much work as I am, so yeah. YouTube.com forward slash Prison Planet Records and I'm at Psychosis Chef on Twitter. So look me up, check shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. No worries, anytime. Oh. Right, thank you for featuring on Disney TV. And that's it. Bye.